Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. Deterrence is the capability of a state to inflict sufficient heavy losses on a potential adversary to deter it from attempting an attack. It is a key element of national defense for guaranteeing the protection of one territory. This is where the submarine launched missiles beat ballistic or cruise missile plays a crucial role what differentiates a cruise missile from other weapons is their range and low flight altitude enabling them to reach targets deep inside the enemy's territory dido has also started working on submarine launched cruise missile or slcm we got the first information about this development in may 2022 when an rfp was released by drdo's lab arde for the fabrication supply of safety arming mechanism or sam for the sscm the main function of sam is to incorporate various safeties and to detonate the warhead when required the safety arming mechanism is a vital link between missile and warhead which plays vital role in keeping missile in safe condition during handling transportation storage and launch phase These safety interlocks incorporated in SAM are removed at different stages of the flight of the missile and detonates the warhead at the time of interception of the target. The DRDO's SLCM is going to be an indigenously developed missile. It will be developed in two versions which are land attack cruise missile or LACM and anti-ship cruise missile or ASCM. The details of this missile was recently released by ANI. The, the SLCM will feature technologies like thrust vector control to turn the missile into and onto the target plane, in-flight wing deployment and in-flight engine start. Now, these technologies has also been proven by DRDO. It is being developed to have a range of 500 kilometers. The length of the missile will be 5.6 meter and diameter of 505 mm. Now if you compare this missile with nearby cruise missile it is slightly shorter as well as less in diameter. The missile will have all up weight of 975 kg which is almost 2/3 of the weight of nearby cruise missile. The DIDO SLCM will have a speed of 0.7 Mach. and will carry the pcb and air burst warhead for navigation the missile will use ins gps in mid course and rf seeker at the terminal stage it will be a two stage missile like nearby with first phase powered by solid rocket booster and second phase powered by a turbofan sustainer the missile will carry 165 kg of jet a1 fuel As per the poster released by DIDO, it has successfully conducted the maiden trial of the missile with a range of 402 kilometers in February 2023. As per the 15th February 2024 report from ANI, India is planning to carry out the test of a 500 kilometer strike range submarine launched cruise missile or SLCM from the east coast next month. The Indian Air Force's arsenal is also likely to get a boost as Defence Ministry is expected to take up the case for procurement of 800 km strike range land attack cruise missile in meeting scheduled this week. The missile which is in discussion is nothing but upgraded Brahmos missile. Talking about submarine launch cruise missile, it is planned to be one of the critical weapons of indigenously manufactured submarines planned to be built by Indian Navy under project 75i Indian Industries that is Larsen and Tubro Godrej and Samir are partners of DIDO in this program and are likely to help the industry to take part in future missile development projects as well This was today's update please let us know your views on this in comment section If you like the video do not forget to like share and subscribe with this i would like to say goodbye and jai hind we'll soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector